first morning, no one's out the house. Let's see what's happening. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> you don't work out. Morning. I think maybe um, encourage them out the door. <laughs> We've got a couple of broken eggs in there and two good ones. One of them made a proper little nest. Looks like the others were just sat outside. Right, you need to go out the door now. Come on. So we've got three eggs this morning. This one's got a bit of a white thing around it. I'm not sure if that one's okay. So day one with the girls, they've actually been coming in and out of the house bit now and they seem to have caught the gist of how to use the little ladder and they're being way more vocal than they were yesterday. You coming out? We've got an idea of names in our head and we're just gonna try and put these identity tags on them, on their legs today. Oh look, there she goes. That's it. Good girl. Clever girl. I'm amazed that they've learned that this quickly, actually. So yeah, we're gonna go in now and try and allocate these. I don't know how easy it's gonna be to put on them. Um, and I'm also gonna give them their afternoon treat of corn. Zen is still obsessed with them. He's so excited about them, it's unreal. Aren't you? <laughs> He's just like constantly wagging his towel and sitting by the door, couldn't wait to come out this morning and see them. These little buckets that I picked up at the garden centre are proving so handy for putting like little treats and bits in. They just took some corn from my hand, see if they were with you. Maybe get like a decent pile. They definitely seem brighter today, don't they? Mm. Oh, that's real sweet. I can't believe that. They're really trusting, aren't they, considering Oh, that one's pecking at that one a little bit then. Really? Yeah. Right, put some down there, and then put some down there. <laughs> I can see this is going to become our new tradition. Yeah. Afternoon cup of tea, after the dog walk and sit in here with these. I wonder if they've laid more eggs in there. I wonder if that's why they went back in there. First taste of grape. Wow. Ooh, she, she likes, likes that. It, yeah. So, as expected, the biggest girl of the group, um, I think she's definitely in charge. Yeah. But they all seem to be getting on pretty well, don't they, at the moment? I guess they're still establishing the pecking order. Day two, we've got two ladies up this morning. <laughs> Did she get it? Uh, two are still in the house. We're going to go and see them in a minute. No eggs so far. And he thinks that maybe the two in the house are still trying to lay. Okay, these are the two that won't come out this morning. Why is this one? 
Whoa. What's going on? What's it doing to it there? I don't know. This one's got its foot on the other <coughs> one. It's holding it down. I don't know what that means. This is a bit strange. She was sort of going for me, wouldn't she? And it's just like a dominance thing. I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. The others have seemed to be pecking her around the legs. So I don't know if that means she's got something wrong with her or if she's just being picked on. I don't know. So I've just had a message from the hen lady saying that she doesn't look very well and that we need to separate her and yeah, just let her recover. I need to get some of these drops. So we're separating this one today. Um, doing her some food and water on her own. We've shut the door and Andy's just gone to make her some scrambled egg. Um, not sure what's wrong with her really, but we'll see if we can help her bounce back today by separating her. So it's day two today and you would have seen from the footage this morning that we have one poorly hen. A few people had said that the pecking order thing will probably start and that if one's particularly poorly or anything then that one will probably be picked on and so I'm not surprised that's happened. Um, but it's still quite hard to see for the first time, like when it's the first time you've had chickens. Um, but yeah, we've definitely got one dominant one. She's very bushy and she's the one that looks looked the wellest out of all of them. So it's not surprising that she's trying to take charge. So yeah, well, we've basically had to just separate her from the others. We've given her um, her own food and water. We've given her a bit of scrambled egg. She doesn't seem that interested in eating anything. She's had a little bit of a drink. Thankfully, Kirsty, one of the ladies from the British Hen Welfare Trust, who was there on Sunday and who was in one of my other videos, she has offered to pop round at lunchtime today with some Nutri Drops, I think they're called, something like that. Um, and she thinks that will help to perk her up and encourage her to start eating and stuff. So she'll be here this afternoon and yeah, we'll just see how she goes today. Hopefully she'll be okay. Kirsty said she's had a couple like this that have bounced back, so we just have to keep an eye on her. Foot on her, and her leg was a bit like I don't know. She was a bit lopsided, wasn't she? Yeah, no, a bit overwhelmed. Your chicken's very clever. They're picking out all your weeds for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's looking at you. She's bossy that one. I never thought she would be because she looked the best. You know, she's so she's, she's got. But that one. Yeah, I don't think she's got any that's, more. That's good for the red then. Yeah. When we, when we first got our chickens, we had a really bossy one that ended up being leader. We called it red to put a red band okay. around. Really? Her <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she hasn't really got any bald patches on her, that one, I don't think. She hasn't been picked. It's nice, isn't it? See? Aww. Only a bit more picking. A bit more. Oh, wait to get out here. There we go. She's getting the fill in my teeth, this one. Yeah, that's a bit more comfortable, doesn't it? That's like yeah. a normal chicken there. That was really lovely of Kirsty to come round and just sort of have a look at the chicken, the poorly chicken for us. Um, she thinks she's mostly okay. She thinks that maybe she's got a sprain in her leg from where she was taken out from the farm. Sometimes that can happen um, when they're trying to sort of get hold of them and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm relieved that it doesn't appear to be anything serious. She's also had a little bit of a nibble on her egg as well, which was good. So now we're just, we've got a dog crate and we're just gonna put her in the house or close to them so that she's not completely segregated from the others because we don't want her to become, you know, completely isolated and even more of an outsider. So she'll be safe in the crate, but also in there with the others. And the others are dying to get back in the house as well. They've just broken my bunt in because they were trying to jump up at the door. So we're gonna move her now. And for anyone interested, these were the drops, poultry nutri drops that Kirsty gave her. And these are good to use if you've got a week chicken basically so this one is now crated off away from the others 
This one is being horrible to everyone. <laughs> She's now starting on the super skinny one. Well, she was pecking her from the start. I think. All right, the door's open now, so they should be happier that they can go in there. <laughs> My bunting broke, so I need to fix that later. <laughs> sun's out today so we're gonna have a little sit in the green and try and encourage them to come out onto the grassy bit This is what I'd imagined. Sitting in the sun with a cup of tea, out in the garden with the chickens. This feels like a good life right now. Day three in Hen Palace, and we've got more rain. Girls, you need to go out. Ooh, blimey, what the hell is that? That is a really, oh God, is that a normal chicken poo? You gonna go out? Go on then. So far we've only had one egg this morning. The egg lane seems to be a bit sporadic at the moment. Go on then. Go on. Out. Out. Come on. She looks much better today. This was the one that was poorly yesterday. Just, they just need a bit of encouraging out, it seems. Go on then. That's it. Good girl. All okay this morning. A lot of pecking each other going on, I think, but they, they seem a bit better than they were yesterday. So today's Thursday. It's our fourth day with the hens and it is raining again. <laughs> This weather, it's just been the worst week. There's just been so much rain. It's basically been raining every day. We had one nice sunny afternoon where we got to sit in the garden with them properly. But I think today is actually the last day. Looking at the weather report, every day after today has got sunshine and clouds. So thank God it's gonna be drier. I've also had a really busy week work-wise this week. I've just got a lot on at the moment, a lot on with blog work. I'm also doing a course at the moment, one day a week. And I'm also doing like work in the community. So some volunteer stuff and everything has just felt really chaotic. And I think if I'd have had the dates that I was collecting the hens earlier, I would have probably been able to plan having this week completely free. But because of how it worked out, it's just worked out that I've just been really busy this week. So it's not been ideal. Saying that though, we have been able to squeeze in spending a significant amount of time with them. I'd say like most afternoons about three or four o'clock, we go out there and actually either sit in the run or sit on the grass with them. Um, and give them like their afternoon cup of corn and yeah just sort of spend that time with them really but in an ideal world this week would have looked different to me it would have been sunny and I wouldn't have had as much on I'm just watching them now out the window um, they've, they've definitely mastered coming in and out of the coop they're doing that amazingly well now they still seem a bit like they want to stay in the actual house bit and not always come out but saying that I don't know they seem to be in and out quite a bit and it may be that the weather's not great that they just would rather be inside so we're not forcing it too much um we're not at the stage where the door opens in the morning and they all come rushing out it's a very kind of slow thing at the moment where the door comes up and then one will sit there looking and then when one goes the others might follow um they're also not laying as many eggs as I thought they would be. We had quite a lot the first day and then since then it's been very slow and the times of day that they're laying as well seems really different. I don't know if that's normal or if you should expect to see the eggs in the morning or I don't know but we might get like one in the morning and then around lunchtime there might be another one. But yeah I think today we've had one. I think yesterday we had one so 
yeah i'm not sure but we'll keep an eye on that the only thing obviously we don't eat the eggs so we're not worried about the eggs in that respect but i think for me if they're not laying then that's going to be a sign that perhaps there's something wrong with them i don't know all of this has been a total learning curve but i'm very lucky to have people on hand that i can text and ask and yeah i'm fortunate in that respect but i think where this week's kind of felt so chaotic and like so much has been going on and i feel like i haven't had the time whilst trying to learn all this new hen stuff and just trying to you know not feel guilty about not being able to be out there with them all day and you know not neglecting the dogs <laughs> it's just so much going on right now it's really hectic but i think next week's looking quieter and i think i'm definitely going to try and slow down my schedule a little bit um over the coming weeks so that i can just really focus on them i think it's just what i'm putting on myself like they're fine i can see them i see them out the window they're fine they're just sort of pottering around they love scraping the hard wood chip i'm so glad we got that because it just seems like such a good solution it's not getting muddy in there it seems to absorb the damp really well and yeah they just absolutely love rooting around so like when we throw a cup of corn in there they it just keeps them occupied for ages so i think they really like the house thankfully <laughs> But yeah, and things have seemed to have quietened down a bit on the pecking order front. I mean, the big one is still very much in charge of everyone. And yesterday she was grabbing the others around the neck. It's really hard to see. I know people had mentioned it before that it's going to happen and it can be a difficult thing. But I'm used to my pets getting on <laughs> for the most part. Anyway, the dogs have a tiff occasionally, but we don't really get the whole sort of ganging up on one animal thing. And I think it's quite hard to see and it's quite hard to witness that and I don't think I felt as prepared for that um, maybe as I should have been. Um, there's nothing really you can do about it, obviously if things get really bad you just separate the one off that's being bullied and it's just naturally what they do but it doesn't, I mean you feel bad, you feel like you want to do whatever you can to sort of help the one that's being picked on. So far it seems to be our lady in pink who is getting picked on the most even though our lady in orange is the one that is more small and scrawny something about the lady in pink who i don't know they all seem to want to have a go at but saying that yesterday i was trying to observe them more and their behavior and i think basically the other three are very level and the big one who's in charge is kind of on her own because the other three are quite happy in each other's company just pecking around it's the other one that's a bit of a problem to be honest <laughs> yeah it's all it's all very different it's all a learning curve i've just i'm just watching her chasing one around the coop now she's a madam i'm going to be doing the grand name reveal very soon i've been trying not to say their names in the video because yeah i want to save that so i'm calling them by their colors at the moment <laughs> but yeah if it's a bit brighter later on i'll take you out there for sort of hen cup of tea hour that we've got in the habit of which has been really nice actually we've just been having like a cup of tea in the afternoon sitting out there um giving them their sort of our late afternoon treats before they go to bed in the evening yeah there just doesn't seem like there's enough hours in the day at the moment so i'm hoping things start to feel a bit calmer soon anyway i've got to go and walk the dogs now so the girls are just having their first taste of sweet corn and i think they like it yeah no not sure can you put it down for you? We've also made some alterations in the coop so we've had to hang this up because it was just getting full of wood chip and Andy put the branch up as a perch as well. These ones I've just stood on some bricks and they seem to be okay but they're proper digging out like the base of the coop it's really strange because like they want to get to the grass that's coming up underneath the coop but even though they've got all this out here which they've got access to they just get really confused when they go out there it's just like they just want to come back in here so obviously hunting for grass is more uh, interesting than just being given it Let's see her pecking then that's not very nice is it this one's so sweet here we go She's really funny, this one. I think this one's our favourite so far. She's coming over. Oh, 
This pink lady was the one that was poorly the other day, so hopefully you can see that she's doing a lot better now. Oh, oh that was... <laughs> she was the one that was being bullied the other day. That's the pink one. The novelty still hasn't worn off for Zen. I'm not sure if it ever will, to be honest. <laughs> you can calm it down a little bit, like. Right? So it is time for the grand reveal of the names we have chosen. We have gone for Sex and the City names. I'm going to introduce you to each of the girls now. So our lady in pink is Charlotte. She wants to go. She wants to go. <laughs> So the big girl, the one that we've been calling Red, she's got the red tag on and she's, we think at the top of the pecking order, is of course, Samantha. Fluffy butt. <laughs> Fluffy butt, troublemaker. Samantha. Our yellow lady is of course, Carrie. She's Hi sweet. Carrie. Carrie's been probably the least, I don't know, the least character. We haven't really got to know her that well, have we? She's not been, no. she's not been a bully. She's not been picked on. She's just kind of in the middle I and think. pretty, pretty quiet. And she's got a yellow tag, obviously, because of Carrie's blonde hair. Now, favourite. Not that we should have favourites. She's like a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pick her up. But our lady in orange, who you can see there, she's the scraggliest, scrawniest of the bunch. Um, Oh, as you can see, she's getting pecked. She's also the one that's got the bald neck, so she's really easy to distinguish against the others. She's a little crazy. She is, of course, Miranda, and that's why she's got the orange tag on to symbolise her red hair in the show. So that's them, Miranda, Carrie, Samantha, and Charlotte's gone in. Charlotte it likes being at home the most. She's always in there. I don't honestly think they're gonna know their names. I don't know. I know that other people make a noise and their chickens come running and stuff, but I don't think, uh, I don't know. They might, they might get to know their names. The novelty with the dogs hasn't worn off yet. I don't know if it ever will. I just can't see them ever calming down about them. The cats have not seemed interested at all. I think they came and had a look initially when we first brought them back and that's been it. They've not been loitering around the run, they've not been looking at them, they're just completely and not interested which really surprised me actually. I thought the cats would, I knew the dogs were going to be crazy especially Zen because he's just got a thing about chickens but I thought the cats might be perching around the fence just sort of watching them but they haven't been at all. So the first day but that was about it. Yeah. How do you feel the first week with the hens has gone? <laughs> We've been watching YouTube videos every night on how it all works and... But it's just like so many things I didn't know. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know, it's just really weird, isn't it? Just, just a different experience. Yeah, there's so much to learn. So that is it for this week's video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what our first week with the hens has been like. I'm going to keep making these videos about the hens and obviously I'm really excited to see their progression and how they bounce back and when they you know, are at their best again with all their feathers and stuff. So I'll definitely be documenting that process. Um, also, once I'm in the swing of things, I think I'm going to be doing some just, I don't know, I'm not an expert yet and I'm still learning myself but I think videos like my morning routine with the hens and my evening routine with the hens and things like that, what I feed my hens just so that if any of you lot watching do decide to do this you can kind of take my advice on things and find out from me what's worked and what's not worked, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be but there will be another one coming soon. Thanks for watching, bye! Say bye. bye. <laughs> Say bye then. Say bye then. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye. Stop licking your lips.